Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make pinto beans. Now this is a perfect side dish for either a barbecue or a picnic and is definitely nice and low fat. And also pinto beans are a fantastic source of protein. They're also really inexpensive when you buy the dried version. So let's check out all of our ingredients which we have laid out here. We're gonna start with a total of eight cups of water. So I have four cups here to the side and then also four cups here um, in my large pot or you could use a Dutch oven. Then I have two ham hocks smoked I have one medium onion chopped. I have one pound of rinsed and dried pinto beans. Then we have two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. We have two tablespoons of chili pepper. We have um, one to two whole um, canned jalapenos seeded and chopped. I have two here because I want to give it a little bit of a kick. And then we also have one teaspoon of garlic powder and then one dash each of both liquid smoke and um, just bottled hot sauce. So we are going to start with the four cups of water that we have here in our big pot. We are going to turn our heat on nice and high. And this is sort of, this is a two-step process. So we're gonna start by just um, cooking the pinto beans on their own. So we're gonna pop them in here. And then we're gonna bring this to a boil. And as soon as it comes to a boil, we're gonna reduce it to a simmer. We'll pop our cover on and let it cook for just two minutes. And then we'll be right back. Okay, so now it's been boiling and simmering like this um, for two minutes, so I'm gonna take it off the heat. Put the lid back on, and I'm gonna let this hang out and soak up for about one hour, and then we'll be back. Okay, so our pinto beans sat for an hour. We've drained them, rinsed them, and put them back in the pan. Now what we're going to do is add that remaining four cups of water. So just pour that on in. I'm gonna add in the ham hocks gonna just cook right in there. Then all the other ingredients, just pop this all in. Okay, so now we are gonna bring this to a boil. And then once we bring it to a boil, we're gonna reduce the heat, cover, and simmer for two and a half hours. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's inactive time, and I promise it's well, well worth it. So we'll come back then. Okay, so our pinto beans have cooked for two and a half hours. They're all nice and tender and wonderful. Now, if you wanted to add in barbecue sauce, you can certainly do that, like a little tiny taste of it. Um, that's optional. If you do, you'd wanna do it in the last like five to 10 minutes of cooking, like while they're still cooking. But we're done and I've, I've, I've opted out of that today um, because I have these lovely ham hocks that I think are just gonna give enough flavor. Now, I've removed them um, from the pinto beans and cut the meat off the bone and then just discarded the bone. So I've got the nice chopped up meat here and I'm gonna reintroduce that um, to the pinto beans. So let's just do that now. And just give it a nice stir. It's gonna be such a delicious side dish. And I, I mean, you know, it took a while to cook, but most of that was inactive time. Pinto beans are so nice and chock full of that protein and really inexpensive to buy, so who doesn't love that? But there you have it, super simple. That's how you make pinto beans. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.